Welcome to Meadowbrook Memories Podcast. I am Jerry, otherwise known as Glacier Prince, and my co-host is Hitchcock, otherwise known as Alfred Henry. Our mission on this podcast series is to explore the stories behind the magic that was created at Meadowbrook. When over a span of four years, between 1982 and 1986, we saw the transformation of a small co-educational school with less than 1,200 students, 800 boys, 800 girls and 400 boys into a successful sports and scholastic champion, winning seven major trophies, three Sunlight Cup, two Tapping Cup, one Walker Cup and one Nutriment Shield. And to crown these achievements, Meadowbrook also produced two Rhodes Scholars, Cabell Creighton in 1987 and Andrea Wright in 1989. Both graduates of Meadowbrook in 1983. In this podcast series, we'll be speaking to persons, both male and female, who were actively involved in this incredible journey, along with friends and staff at Meadowbrook, which inspired the environment which created this golden era. We hope you enjoy our discussion. Please give us as much support and encouragement as you can on whatever social media platform you are listening. Welcome and thanks for joining us. Oh, all right, ready? All right, today okay. is Friday, August 12, 2022. I welcome back to another conversation about Meadowbrook memory. memories. Me, as usual, Jelly, our Lance, our Glister, our Prince. That's um, too much name. <laughs> And by now, I want to know, say any one of those names will do. That's why I have so much journal, or anyone you want to call me, call me. Join me back at my course is the irrepressible Margaret Livermore, who has taken up the mantle to make sure the females that, of Meadowbrook are stepping up the journey conversation and give their Meadowbrook memories. And I am eternally grateful for that, Margaret. Our guest today is one of those female students who Margaret has charmed to come and give them one Meadowbrook memories. <laughs> She came to Meadowbrook in 1983, left in 1988, which means that she was at Meadowbrook during the golden era when Meadowbrook was winning a whole heap of trophies. She was a member of the netball team and a member of the Girl Guide, but she's here to give her own memories. So, without further ado, welcome Chernell Ferguson. Chernell, introduce yourself, and then Margaret, you introduce, you introduce yourself afterwards. Introduce yourself, Chernell. Good evening. My name is Chernell Ferguson. Um... I attended Meadowbrook in 1983 to 1988. I was part of the um, Girl Guides Association during the time there. And I also played netball for um, houses, matches, Mm -hmm. not for the school. But it was one of my favorite sports all the way through high school. I even played it after I left high school for my church and won um, championships. So um, I think it's, you know, um, Meadowbrook has carried me a long way. Um, Meadowbrook for me was um, a phenomenal step because coming from my society where I grew up and going to this fabulous uh, upper class school in the hills, you know, and it was just like, wow, <laughs> when I entered there. So, but I I realized that when I got there and got to know the students and all that, there were different category of students there from every side of the um Every, every, the island, you every, know? Every walk, so that, yeah, man, we're getting at that. Man. Yes. I get all the opportunity for getting at that. So, all the thank you for having me, yeah, man. Glacier. You t- you're welcome. Anyone you want call? Jelly, Glacier, <laughs> whichever one. No matter to me. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, man. Anyone you're comfortable with? Or Lance, whichever one. And Margaret, reintroduce back yourself for me. Good evening, everyone. I'm Margaret Livermore, class of 83. Um, I'm so happy to join you again jelly in your Meadowbrook memories conversations i really enjoy them i just want to say that i met chernell in 2009 i think at yes. as she said one of the Meadowbrook galas in new york and she made a she she made a huge impression on me because she's a very tiny lady and she has a level of energy that I've never seen in someone so small. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, good for you. Know, but I know Thank small, you. Yeah. You know, as a small people are energetic, you know. That's how we appreciate it. <laughs> 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 anyway, Chernel, 
the first question we are asking why do you come upon this conversation you know, is that did you choose Meadowbrook or Meadowbrook chose you? Which book? And hello, repeat, I up... Yeah, repeat that, Chernel, because I kind of break away. I'm sorry. I chose the book. I was the number one choice when I did my coming entrance. Because I grew up in Spanish Town and I wanted to expand my wings. And apart from that, my cousin also attended my book at the time. She was in, um, she's two years ahead of me. And I wanted to go there with her and hang out with her because um, she was the only girl in her family. And I being there making her, uh, my cousin being there with her, you know, she was excited about that. So when I chose, I chose, it was um, Meadowbrook and Queens and the third one was St. Catherine. And when they said Meadowbrook, I was jumping for joy. I was so happy. It was far from home, but I did not care. Mm. So you chose, tell me about Meadowbrook before you go, because your cousin, where, where, where your cousin's name? Her name is Edwina Ratchery. She used to live in the Marvely area. Okay, okay. And okay. she went to Meadowbrook. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see you tell you about Meadowbrook. Why do you want to come on Meadowbrook? That's right, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, wait, what you used to hear about Meadowbrook? What you used to tell you about Meadowbrook? What interested you about Meadowbrook so much? Why you want um, to come on? Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. I just wanted to, I just wanted to leave. I want to go to Kingston School. And okay. as I said, I chose, I chose, it was three choices we had at that time. I chose Queen and I also chose Meadowbrook because she went there. And, um,. I was hoping that I'd go there because I wanted to be my cousin. So when I got the news, I was really happy about it. Oh, that's Because at least I didn't have to be, I didn't have him by myself and I had her to, to you know, yeah, move, yeah, yeah, yeah. guide me along the way even when I come to school at daytime, you know? So, so it you, was really happy for me. Yeah, even though I come from all the way to Spanish town, you know, I have no problem. I take the bus and come and meet up. I get up in the morning, every morning at 5 o'clock. Okay. That's my bus. Ah, uh, yes. I remember them buses. The Pinovala and buses and all them buses. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be on the hot buses. Yeah, what do you mean hot bus? Down. Okay, yeah. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be um, the red bus or um, um, what's the one again? The coach. It's the coach. Coaster. Coach. Coaster. No coach. Mm -hmm. No, no, not coaster. It's a coach. It's the like coach. A long okay, bus. okay, okay, okay. A long bus, very long, and that one is just new on new on um on the road now. It's a long luxury bus. Mm -hmm. And it's all the girls and boys just flock around going up bus in the morning, and then you have Spanish tours. That's another one. Mm -hmm. So these are the bus that if you miss that bus, are you not on that bus? You're not saying nothing. Oh yeah, yeah. So I would. Yeah, we particular yeah, I would, bus. I would that bus. <laughs> yes, I'm on that. I would like. I would like if I bus come up my bus stop and there's no space coming at this on the on the step. Yeah. They take me to the window because I'm so tired. I go, I go to the window. <laughs> I'm driving to the window. My friend drive me to the window. Ah, yeah, I tell you. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the bus can't leave me. Yeah. <laughs> so before, I bet she was, bet she was entertaining. Oh Lord, yes. <laughs> like, pull up, pull me up, pull me up. And you put up the door still, pull me up. Because them time the, the bus in my face have the music and them set. I suppose. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah man, music yeah, man. a pump. Yeah man, come here have a yes. bus on the road. Me have a quarter million on the road. So me know you're there. Oh, you're a quarter million. Same yeah. time, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, me know mm -hmm. you're there, man. So yeah. <laughs> so before you come, before you come, Meadowbrook, Chanel. Um, you never knew where Meadowbrook there before. You never been to the no. school. No, no, really? never had. Not mm -hmm. a clue at all. So you have no first, idea where it was. So you first, you come to Meadowbrook. Now, what the first impression you get to come on the Meadowbrook campus the first day or the first week? Where you remember? I remember that auditorium so big. I never seen an auditorium so big in my life. And I came in and I was like, what? Is that classroom so big? They said, no, it's the auditorium where you have devotion and all that. I said, oh. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I look at it and I see the um, the steel to the, to the side. Because my school didn't have that where I was coming from. And, you know, I was like amazed. I was like looking over. I was like, can't get enough vision of what's going on all over the place. And then, you know what caught my eyes? You wouldn't believe what caught my eyes. Mm -hmm. A tree right beside the library. Mark, you remember what tree that was beside the library? The sinking tall tree? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Yo. I always remember that tree was there. So what the sinking to a tree. I'm like, this there? Yeah. This thing too? <laughs> That I want, only you see that coming right, that you don't have to tell me from now on. I eat it. I eat it. Uh, <laughs> but I see that like, what? That tree there? Hey, I, I also had it before coming to Meadowbrook. I never got one yes. off of that Meadowbrook tree, but I have had it and I really liked it. 
Oh. Yes, me too. I had to put from my grandma to buy it at the market downtown and can't come give me. Yeah, yeah. I, never, I don't remember yes. eating it at all. I don't remember eating it. Maybe the name of the term there, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't remember it to right. Yes, yes. Right at the top side of the library there. Towards the back. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where's, 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 what, are, what are the impression you get you come up on the campus now, on the school campus, about the friends that we meet? Tell me some of the friends that we meet that you remember. I, um, I, okay, so the first time I visited was, was not when everybody was there, because you had to come per grade for, um, is it orientation or registration or something like that? Yeah. So you see all, you see everybody putting up in their cars and all that. I was like, oh, rich people, school, everybody put that in car. Margaret, did you? Yes, I'm still here. Yeah, I'm okay, here. go ahead. Yeah, kind of break. Repeat that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody keep calling me. I don't know who keep calling me. Anyway, I was saying that after I see everybody pull up in the car, that oh, rich people school. Everybody have them driver drop them off and all that stuff. Yeah, you can see them coming out in their, in their bim and them Benz and all them fancy cars. So you know, I just like ooh, I don't know. I, I start getting start intimidated by it because you know all these people coming out in their cars. Mm-hmm. I felt that way, like oh my gosh, am I you, really at the right place? You come rich school, rich, rich people school. That's how you feel. Yes, yes, I felt like the rich people school. Yeah, yeah, I did yeah. feel that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. So how quickly that change in terms of looking at it, but I know everybody um, out here. That changed after my first year, second, second form. I was well, I was well seasoned because mm-hmm. I am I'm a, I'm a people person and I get to know everybody whether they be high class or low class. I, I mean, there were some people, they were still stuck up, of course, yes. There were some girls and some boys who think that you're beneath them and, you know, you're not in the class. But okay, I found, I found, my, I found my clique and that took me straight to fifth form and I was, you know, them can't sit like me because guess what? Everybody from my side, me, everybody, I had, my, I had some of them rich people eating out of my, out of my plate, like mm-hmm. my cow tongue and my chap and bean. Hey, <laughs> you don't wonder. <laughs> they were eating out of my plate. Yeah, no way to come and get some my food. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. them love the food. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, what some of the teachers that you remember the first, first, first year of come on Miss Gillis, Miss Gillis is my first form um, English teacher. Mm-hmm. Very nice lady. You can see she looks more like a British person. The way she dressed, well put together and well spoken. Yes, Miss Gillis had an impression on me. And then Mr. Burke. Oh my God, I love you're breaking okay. up, Chanel. Yeah, repeat, repeat that. I don't, you're not going to say. I have to repeat everything. You're breaking up, yeah. I'm sorry. I have Still not hearing you. We heard Miss Gillis, but when you got to Mr. Burke, you started breaking up. I'm um, yeah, Mr. Burke was one of the teachers that me. Was a tall, dark, well-refined man that was very much respected. Oh, I Mr. Really liked Mr. Burke. Mr. Burke. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. So, what, what did he teach at the time? I think it was geography, though. Okay, okay. Same was part of like the the um seeing administration, like he was a deputy principal or something like that, or. No, 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 no. He was not a teacher. The, the, my, the, my, the deputy principal at that time was Miss, um, what's her name? She died too. Um, Dark Lady and Miss, um, Miss, mm-mm. Oh, I can't forget, the, I can't remember those people's name. Dr. Mrs. Morris? But, Dr. Morris, right? Dr. Morris was the deputy principal and the other Dark Lady. Oh, Miss McClellan. Uh, no, Miss Headland. Miss Headland. You got it. No, stop calling it. Miss Headlam was and, and Miss Miss Ma- Dr. Marsh was the principal. Yeah, yeah. And then you have the dean was Mr. Gooden. Mr. Gooden was dean of, of, of school. He was a real good man too. Mm-hmm. I liked him very, very much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what kind of reputation Mary Book had when you come to the school in terms of say like um we you come in at the school now, you say you never knew it before. What impression you got at the school itself? Clean, nice, big. <laughs> the three things: clean, nice, and big. Very big. So what? But for the record, what school did you come and transfer? What school are you coming from? 
It's called Macaulay Primary. It's in Spanish Town. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Macaulay Primary. Off okay. Winter Road, near to Salt Factory. Oh, that yeah, area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. I know what you're talking, I know what you're talking about. All right, so, you know, your first couple of years, though, the biggest, one of the memories you remember from Meadowbrook, one of the fun to remember from Meadowbrook. Oh, you know, my year. God. That man that sell it from his truck. When we got again, he, he passed through the world. Oh, Pekka? Food for this truck, right in for the canteen. Pekka, Lord have percuss. Pekka, when I saw the person, that's when he came and bought the, bought the bun and the colors. Of... What? 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 And I saw my way to the mid truck. I passed on the rest of us. I bought Bon Kalu. I was like, what is that? Can you hear me? Hello? The connection not good at all. Hello? The connection not good, Chanel. You keep breaking up. It sounds like you're, you're underwater. No. Sorry, I'm right here. Yeah, your Wi Fi? Sorry, not Wi Fi. You have Bluetooth? I have Bluetooth. Maybe it might work better. You have Bluetooth. Put it on speaker or something if you can. Okay. All right, let me do this. Let me. Can you hear me now? Yeah, much better. Much better? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm clearer. Yes, yes, yes. I was saying that when I went and, I, and they, my friend took me out to lunch and they went to pop our truck and they was buying Bon and Colorlo, I was taken back. What the hell is that? Bon and Colorlo? Then they come and say Bon and Corn Beef. I like, oh my God, it can't get no worse. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what is what it? Is... Me? No, no. I never had it. I never had it at all. I, I, I just can't. <laughs> I can't have nothing eating something like that. No, sir. I'm like, I'm like, so I said to my, my, my friend, it was like one of the, the guy friends, I said, you never have no bread. And so we have had one on the bread. I decided to tell him, he said, no, sir, I'm not eating that. <laughs> not eating that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not eating that. That's all like that. A unique pick a thing to add to the bun and color of because you're right. No. Mm-mm. Not doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what what are some of my friends they remember from first farm? What do you remember? First and second first, farm. What friends you said? Yeah, friends, yeah man, yeah. Tell me some of the friends that we meet the first day I come out of school. The first so week. My first friend that I met in the first one was her name is Charmaine Stubbs. Mm-hmm. Charmaine opened her heart to me. She made me feel so com- I was I was really, really timid. I felt I thought I felt like I, I didn't belong because of all these rich people. And she said she said she came and talked to me the first time. She came and talked to me. I said, Oh, what about it? I'm here too, and you know, I know you're feeling and we hang out for the whole day. Mm-hmm. And we were, sh- where was Charmaine coming from? A Charmaine... You know what? She lives in Kingston, somewhere in Kingston. Okay, okay, Kingston girl. okay. But she come yes. out to make sure you feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah yes. Yeah. She and don't it... leave me out the whole day. Mm-hmm. And yeah, Charmaine remain friends throughout Meadowbrook? Yes, so all the way to Fifth Farm. Okay. All the way to nice, Fifth Farm. Nice, nice, nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. So like, oh, she hear you have bigger up here now and she hear this at that about. Yes, I think. Yep, we're still friends on Facebook and all that stuff. Yes, still friends. Mm-hmm. It's very day. What? So which other friends you have? Are just one friend you have? I go meet two men. Which other friends did I have? I go two men. No, I had I had Arlene Barnes and Arlene Barnes had a sister that was upper in uh, upper class and her too. Then I had my famous male friend. We hang out. Oh my God, this is the only male friend I had all through my years. I met a book. His name is Michael Latibodier. Mm. Michael Latibodier was. One that hung with was six girls and him was the only guy. Okay. And we had it was it was me, Tracy, Dennis, um, Natasha Thompson, um, Camille Query, myself, and who's the other one again? Lord, oh, Angela Sotella. We all hang out. Okay, okay. Good okay. We 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 um because the, the mall, we will play games, you know, all the time. And we end up, we were friends until the last, until and we graduated and all of us went separate ways. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. We, still, we still communicate because um I think we lost contact with three of them out of the group, but other four of us are in contact. 
Oh, that's yeah, nice. two of them you can't find them. Don't know where they are. Yeah, that is nice. That's nice. That's mm -hmm. nice, Sharon. I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. So they say you played netball. How did that? How did that come about? How, how you got interested in netball and why? Was there impressive? Well, I I was doing a little bit of it from primary school. And when I when I came to Melbourne, they had that. You know, when you're doing your your PE time, mm -hmm. you got to be either playing netball or softball. Mm -hmm. And listen to me, listen to me, Lance. One day me on the field I play softball. Mm -hmm. Listen, maybe I listen hundred pound. You have no fish in my body. Me bone, if you want to call it that. And this marriage so bad, it let me put me, put me shame. Me say, done, 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 done. Lick, me lick, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lick it on what? Me shank. <laughs> <laughs> on the bony part of, the bony part of my leg. Oh. The bony part. <laughs> And me go down, and me ball, and me ball, and me say no more. Wait, say, hold on, I'm just hold on, I'm going to give me that slip pass, Ronald. I just want to know where he's licked. I like when man get licked in I'm grind. Is that what you're talking about? No, it's part of my leg. Oh, your leg, okay. Shut up, Kershin. Shut up, Kershin, Jelly. Or what? Shin. A shin, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Because I know when man get licked. A certain part of them body at a pain in my field, so I'm just want to make sure. I, 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 oh my gosh, not that, that, that part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not that part. <laughs> no, but I have to make sure because I'm asking, what she said, Shin, me my yard, Sarah Margaret, Sarah Journal, boy. <laughs> hey, so what happened so after that? When my netball teacher come, when my teacher come and say, Papa, sir, I'm not, I'm not playing on the bench, I'm not playing no more. And they remember that, that the ball hit me and they like, okay, it's okay. So when it comes to that, they all send me to netball class. And I do the netball. Mm -hmm. So I come, I, I play center and I play I play goalkeeper or goal like, I don't play, I don't play no way. Bring it down. Mm, I, I play for your host team. Which host were you in? Yes. Guard sure the best one, of course. Okay. I hear you. Everybody. That's right. I saw, oh, Mark, yes. you're in a guard sure too? Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. A year or no? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, So, 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 Chernel, so we, we, we remember. We play all the way to yeah, go ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. Sorry, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, we play all the way to four from her. Fifth from I, I cannot, cannot simmer down with that because of um, six and all that stuff. So I didn't play as much. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if they want the help on the, when they're having anything, I'll be out there first thing, first thing. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I was asking, you know, what do you remember about bottom field? Because the first thing about bottom field, I mean, what do you bottom remember? Field hangout. Bottom field is a hangout. My friends, I can't, I can't resist it. So I go to the hangout. Oh, my friends, man, just talk and eat some food. Nothing more. And cheers and all that stuff. I think, I think I, at one time, I went in the chilling part of the, the, um, the, the, when I had sports day once. I did chilling for, for sports day. But it wasn't my thing. So, you know, I didn't do that again. Oh, you want to track and field thing at all? I hear you. No, not at all. Not at all. But I love the sport. And I love soccer. Because I used to go to all the champs. I would make a champs all the time. I would make a book after the champs. I would make a champs for some other people. I would champs every year. Oh, but you're not here for Miller Book. You're one of them there. Miller Book of Finals, my dear. Like Miller Book of Finals, a champs. We're going to cheer for the queen of the day. That's true. When you, but when you go, when you go, win up thing. But yeah, yeah, I hear you. Understood. Mm. You're fine. <laughs> I hear you, sure enough. I hear you. I hear you. So, give me some more fun memories you have met. I know. Before you go, before you go, sir. Tell me about all your girl guide thing. I say we're part of the girl guide. Oh, you became. Oh part. yeah. So girl guide, girl guide started in second form for me. I started girl guide in second form. You know, I don't remember the name of the teacher. But we did many tours. We went. We didn't do camping. I didn't get to do the camping part because my mom wouldn't let me go camping with them when they had camping. But we do like we do like um, we had solo cookies. We are going to the headquarters to do um like a day of we have to we have to be inspected. Mm -hmm. We had to be inspected and we had to be um we had to um show our uniform. I got to put five badges though. You got what? You had to read it one. You had to read. All is well? Yeah. Go ahead, Chernel. <laughs> she have break up again. Hello? 
gonna sit down right here in the foyer so I don't move and you guys can hear me. Yeah, man, no, no, we're all right, we're good. We can put down the time, okay. Margaret, and say that's it. All right, so okay. we're back. So, all right, let me ask you, <clears throat> Margaret, let me just start it. So, Shernel, welcome back, as you said, but not even welcome back. But let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Because Margaret say you're a big time dancer. Where did you learn to dance? At Meadowbrook, are you a big dancer from before? Meadowbrook? Meadowbrook don't teach me how to dance. That's in my genes. <laughs> <laughs> say, come on, Meadowbrook, no, you know, for dancing. That's what I say. Well, you know what? Um, in my community where we live, we had several parties. So, from I'm a teenager, I remember myself like about 12 there, but before I become teenagers, we will have like birthday parties. And then my aunts, who I grew up with as well, they're about like 10 years my senior. And they used to have parties at the house. Mm -hmm. And you've been in the party, you watch and see how they dance and move and all that stuff. Yeah. You know, I remember the, the, those things with rubber dub. When them rub off the wall, off of the, the paint off of the wall, <laughs> you get the money, you say, well, white spot. You just rub out the fine. <laughs> <laughs> but so, yeah, I went to parties when I was a teenager and I and I learned, you know, I, I watched people how they dance and I learned the rhythm and I, you know, enhanced myself as time goes by and get better and better. So all right, which which party I met a book you remember the most? It's fet. Oh, the fet the fet of okay, so this one I remember the most because of, it was fet of um Michael Jackson era. Mm -hmm. And it was in nineteen is the eighties, I think eighty six that I went to a fet. And I took my cousin with me, and I had this guy that I like, oh my God, I love that boy. I was in love with that boy. And I said, Lord, him come to the fit. I was excited. And I like, oh, ask for the dance. I'm asked for the dance. And I'm like, there. When me take a stop, my cousin, boy, she want to go home. I said, go home, Miss Pat. Me not nah, leave. Come in, see, my boyfriend. I'm not leaving. So you see what I made a book too? <laughs> yes, you see what I made a book too, yes. So you know what? Big him up. I know I embarrass him. I don't remember his name, actually. I don't remember his name. But because yeah, you know, know. what? We didn't, we, didn't, we didn't become friends at all. We didn't, we didn't come connect. And so, my entire my entire time at Meadowbrook, I didn't have a boyfriend there. So hold on, hold on, and, hold on, hold on. I'm not in that process, so I'm telling you. You come at the fete and you want to dance to the boy, little man. I mm -hmm. remember his name. Say, you never no. danced. No, he didn't dance to me at all. You he asked? Me the whole night. Come again? He ignored, he, he ignored me the whole night. Okay, but I don't call him name because that's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, I forget the name, Sharon. He didn't even notice me at all. That's why I should remember his name, Miss Margaret. Exactly why. No, he deserves for him name no member. Exactly, Sorry. that's what I say. <laughs> okay, we don't want to dance with Sharon. Well, Sharon, they're probably intimidating with their dancing. Yeah, maybe. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right. I can't keep up with this man. Yeah. So, Sharon, which. which which song they around the place sometimes they where they are um, was it it was mostly Michael Jackson songs though, but there was a song by um Cool It you know, Cool It Now. Yeah, I, I'm not cool and um, again. I don't know who sing that. Honestly, I can't. I don't know good yeah, that. But that's a nice song, song man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the song. Good. I know the song you're talking about. I know the song you're talking about. But I'm a big lover of music because even when I left school, I used to go to all these parties. I used to go to all these clubs and all that stuff because I love dancing. Mm -hmm. Apart from that ball, dancing was my, my hobby. Mm -hmm. It kept me alive. It kept me spirited. It kept me active. It kept me, you know, happy in every sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You never rub off no while, though. Who? You never rub off no wall. You have to have a rubber dub. I probably have done a couple of that, you know, a couple of times as well. And know something else too, but I know I was having fun. Love. <laughs> All I was just saying, nice. That mess of Margaret, so she was easy with that. I mean, <laughs> sure, I yeah, love that, you know. You say, just go and say, yes, you know, I don't know nothing at that time. Love. No. <laughs> because when you get that person that, that, can, that can feel your rhythm, Oh yeah, man, man. You yes. Let, you don't want to let go. I don't hear you. Let... Coming from a woman, I love that. I hear you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. anyway. <laughs> All right. So, I don't know if you danced at this earlier. Which, which teacher, our student, our schoolmate, All right, which teacher inspired you throughout the time I met her, bro? Let me ask a question now. Which inspire me? Yeah. Well, you know what? Um... What did I make? Um, 
My math teacher, Miss Reed. And why? And why she inspired? What? What about her? Inspired? Because she she was very very um. This one I hate so much. You know, try to go to the one I hate. That one I can't forget. But anyway, Miss Reed, she would teach maths. No matter how hard the the, the problem was, she makes sure she fine tune it, break it down for you, break it down. I am good at numbers, and because of her, because of her, I'm good. I'm telling I'm good at numbers. You can't trip me at any words or English language about it. You come to numbers, accounting, and math, you can't trip me. Because she, she, she simplified. She simplified. She simplified. She make. I, I I with her. She taught how to learn formulas, how to how to you know break it down and match it back and. In my head, because I can do things in my head without even writing on paper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, she yes. was yes. that good. She, she left an impression on me, and she was really, really, really a person who makes sure our students get it. Not just fly past it, just get it. So where her full name? Because I have a big girl up. Miss, you just said Miss Reed. You know her first name? No, sir. You don't remember? Miss Reed. Miss Reed was very plain that she had very big <laughs> breasts. You don't remember her, Miss Reed? Margaret, do you remember her? No, you know, um, the weird thing is I had a neighbor um, who was a Mrs. Reed who taught at Middlebrook, but she didn't teach here while I was there. So I don't even know if it's the same person. No, but you're is that brown? Yeah. She brown and kind of tallish? No, she dark. I she had very short hair. Okay, wrong person. But you know what, you know what, um, Lance, I don't know much about the first, I don't know about the last name, I don't know the first name because I know Mr. Burke, Mr. Gooden, Miss Miss, Miss, Miss Reed, Miss Gillis. I don't know the first name. Well, that's not true. I don't that's know the first name. That's true, Sharon. You're not going to remember the first name, no matter. You're right about that. I just say. Uh, and I come and say, I am Mrs. So and so. I'm your touch. They don't tell you I'm Mark. Or they tell you, you don't remember. Because always, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From yeah. first name. Mm -hmm. We don't have the first name. Yeah. So, which which fellow student inspire you, Sharon? You look on Pandem and I say, boy, I like in your classroom, I come to school and look up and I say, you don't like to be like that. Which... Listen, no, but no, I, didn't, I didn't want to be like that, no, I must tell you that. But let me tell you who, who, who two persons two, two person I admire when I was there. And because, I don't know, um, Saffron, Saffron, that head girl, Ramsey. She, was nice girl. she was a nicer girl. And then I, I Peter Champagne was, was a nice guy, but I think he was too. Too much to himself, and he was he thinks much of himself. I didn't really like that about him, but in terms of how he um I, 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 about how he was educated and how he him, him carried himself, I liked the way he was. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Saffron was Saffron was my girl. Saffron was my. Girl. I love Saffron with all my heart. I loved her. I full disclosure, you know, Saffron was my sister-in-law before she died. You know. Oh really? Yeah, man. Yeah, Saffron, all her sister married to my brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I know, I know Saffron pretty well from even before she started the Miller Group, from Dragon Ball Go Miller Group Prep. Okay. Because she, okay. she and her sister, the older sister, started the Miller Group. We, I started Miller Group, the older sister, in 1974. Yeah, but Saffron, mm -hmm. a lot of people, Margaret and Saffron started the same year, so Margaret can tell you about okay. Saffron. Yeah, man, and Saffron was my very first friend at Miller Group. Oh, really? Yeah. She's a sweetheart, man. She's the sweetest, sweetest thing ever. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. Mm hmm. Nice to know that she had an impression on you. She never probably realized it. But she had an impression upon everybody, you know. That's 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 a magical touch. Well listen, <laughs> in my in my school year between my five years, there's one thing I, I did something in second form and I don't you know, and I said to myself, What the hell this is this is rich girl. Her name was I don't remember her name. Because she left after the after the second second form. But she decided to have a posse. We're gonna have a posse. Me it was her, I can't remember her name, I can't imagine her name. She started grouping her, but she was rich, she was living, she was in Chancery all. She was in Chancery all, so she had money. So she said, okay, she could be a group. That time, poor me, now, me, me a maga, poor everything you can't think about. And she's like, we're going to start a group. So it's me, Claudia, her, and and Suzette. Suzette stayed with her one, because I even took Suzette to one of the Metabox stuff. Yeah. And Claudia, yeah. I saw Claudia went to Jamaica too. Claudia, Claudia Lawrence. Claudia Lawrence, Suzette stayed with myself and the other girl. What's your name again? I can't remember. But we had a group. We bought Jamaica's t shirt and we had rolled up into a sleeve, muscle t shirt. I would have his name on the back of his shirt. It was, it was red. And my men know me tell them in a hot group, no, you know, because my family, family, me tell me in the top class. Yeah. Girl, that girl took me to her house and one day, and that was it for me because she exposed some stuff that her. I was like, nope, I don't want to be it. Nope, my mother going to kill me. Nope. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to end it. I had to end it. I hear you. I hear you. Nope. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah. My eyes pop up my head. You pop know, up my head and wonder if me if me I dream or if it's reality. I will find me on the time there. 
second farm. I never knew I got exposed to them things. I wouldn't have to talk about but kind of an idea where I talk about. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> yeah. Where you say you cut, you cut that shot? I cut that shot. But then again, I got myself to all of some other friends again that you should know them by now too. Margaret you're supposed to know them too and probably you, I don't know about the girls that go in the white uniform. White, I didn't do it, you know, that me, they had to put on white when they come to school because they're in a the bad one. It was um, Charmin Sinclair, Avery Gallimore. You know those names? No, I don't know if Margaret remember them. No. They were on the bus doing stuff and they had Dr. Spana put them in white say, but to make an make, um, example of them. They had to wear white to school. Oh, it was troublemaker. Spana had to oh, wear. my gosh. Yeah. One of the girls was a king. You know, you know Kings the Cooper, the football guy? Football or, or Pulse, Kings the Cooper. Soccer, soccer. No, man. Kings the Cooper plays soccer. From Meadowbrook? Yeah, from Meadowbrook. Oh, that's after my time. I don't remember. But go ahead, yeah. So she, he was one of the girls, them boyfriend. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I, 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 they're in my classroom, they're my friends, not my best friend, but my friends. But when I'm doing themselves, I was like, what, what they can't be for themselves? What, but they, these girls, they, they didn't know how to be themselves. They didn't know how to do it. I mean, repeatedly, repeatedly, they were put in a white uniform. Repeatedly. <laughs> year in, year out. Them two girls don't know nothing but the badness. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I'm here to okay, I cannot do this. I don't know. Remember that kill me? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. can't yeah. understand. We can't get nothing. Yeah. I get attention one time in school once, and that was because I was reading a book in Spanish class, Miss Liebert. I don't yeah. like that at all. Uh-huh. You know, Miss Liebert was one of my favorite teachers. No, so me can't take her. <laughs> it was my second form, form teacher. Yeah, she teaches Spanish. I didn't like her at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what's it? No, we know what's going on. That you know, if it's, you never like, I don't want to talk about our bad habits. <laughs> okay, fine, that's okay. <laughs> no, I want good memories, yeah. <laughs> okay, good memories, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Our fun memories, we want to talk about. All right, so I'm gonna talk about fun memories. Tell me some of the fun memories you had on a field trip or in the classroom or it on netball training where you remember. There's some fun stuff. This, this, there was nothing fun. It was just playing that ball and just enjoying the game. I, nothing really stand out for me. Mm-hmm. But what was that, Margaret? You didn't go on any field trip that had any? No. Actually, actually, when the field trip came about, I must tell you, too, my mom says she can't afford it, but I didn't go. Okay. I, I didn't go no field trip at all. As I said, the only time I went out with anything apart from school was when I was with the girl guides, and that was it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I didn't yeah. go anything. Mm-mm. Yeah, but you saw this podcast and you said, Melody, got a big impact on your life. And why you say that? Because it taught me how to differentiate people of money and people who are poor. Because even though we're in the same community, we all could coexist and still live and have fun and and achieve and be educated in the same in the same in the same in the same um, atmosphere. I didn't never. Did you know I, it? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I I I never, never ever had a dull day at school. That it was so bad that I would go and cry. No, I didn't have that day because there's always somebody there to lift your spirit, mm-hmm. something to do. I mean, I mean, even even I come to school until I come to school, I, I didn't have to. I couldn't buy lunch. Mother used to pack lunch for me. I'm okay. I come to school, my friends and my dear, and say, okay, we eat your lunch and we can share your lunch and we eat. I buy and you share my lunch. We, we you know share each other lunch and all that stuff and. If I don't have any lunch money, uh, the thing about it, if you don't have the lunch money, they share with me. If you say we're going to go to fetch, I say, Mother, so we can't go fetch no coffee, no money. They will share lunch money. I say my lunch money is to buy my clothes, mm. to come and fetch my, my ticket. You know, it was about coming to just stick together. My friends stick with me from day one to, to the last day. Uh, why? Because I say, come, it sounds like I had a first experience that when you come. What do you think that was when you come to America? Why do you think? The community spirit existing at the school, despite the fact that it was people from different cross sections of the society. It wasn't expected. I when I was when I was at primary school, you know, Lance, I was at primary school, I was top girl. Me get first prize every year. Every year, my top girl, my big shot. Everybody at um, primary school look up to me. Oh, Chanel this, Chanel that, Chanel that, Chanel that. Apart from the fact that I was top girl, I had the the, the, the spunk. Everybody was, you know, wanted to talk to me. But it was my friends and. You know, I was like, you know, there. Yeah. Come to book. Be like, Miss Nobody. Like, oh, she thinks she come from. Uh, hey. Uh-uh. 
I, no, I, like I, that, that died. That died on the first day when I come to school and went to Orange and I see these people. Like you're no longer it. You're no longer top number. You're no longer top number. I hear you. I hear you. So that did kind of shock you. Of course, it shocked me because I didn't know. I didn't know it was out there. I didn't know of it because I, it was never. I was exposed to it at all. That is a, that's what I mean. So I remember we came at school, eh, you exposed to the, a different side of Jamaica than anyone before. A different side of Jamaica, a different side of culture, a different kind of, 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 of a person that were different people. They, you know, they were just different. There are some people that even up to high school, I went to first form with them, up to fifth form, that me and them no co- it's like me and them no really interact at all because they think they're better than you. Totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I can't see why you learned that lesson. I can't see. And the kind of school where I come from, that wasn't the case at all. The mix of no. learning provided that. Yeah. I say, man. I say, man. I understand you clearly. No, I see why you say. My book teach you certain things. That it, you say, so don't you get to learn that at another school? I couldn't say that. I don't know, Lance. I don't know. But as I said before, when, because where I'm coming from, and, you know, I was pretty excited because I was the first person in my in my in my family. Past common entrance. Past common entrance. Going to high school in Kingston too. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? yeah, yeah so for yeah. me, it was like an honor. You know, my mom took me for dinner, and you know she do her very best for me and make sure I get everything I wanted for school. And I was excited. Yeah. Yes, me. I finished me. I got town school. Listen, when you know the comment in the Spanish, you say you got town school. You know, you big shot. You know, you got town school. <laughs> So which, which community of a Spanish town that you used to live? Repeat that? Which community of a Spanish town you used to live? Twickenham Park. Twickenham right Park, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Repeat that, Osamadi, Osamadi, that's all? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, I got you, I got you. I see what I mean, so, yeah. You pass your big town school, you know. And I yes, go, man. Yeah. I'll, so, I never was considered a big town school at the time? Of course. Listen. People in my country go, go to Spanish Town Prime, Spanish Town Secondary. They go to Jonathan Grant. They go to Osamati. They might go to St. Catherine if they, if, they, if, they, if they feel a little bit of St. Catherine or Jago, but that's at the top school for them. They might not come out to a very few of us that would, you could like, in a basket, you could have put like five of us in the basket. We'll go like, one little, one that might go Queens, might, might go Murgrove, mm. and, and pick, pick, one little, one, one. But not, not, the, whole, the, whole, the whole scheme I got at the bus stop, I better go one direction. Spanish down. And you know, you, you know, you made up, yeah, your cousin, you made up. So you felt kind of special then, that's what I say. Yes, that's very it. special. That's what I mean. I, I never, I'm not thinking about it that way at all. Very special. So, Margaret, I see you in the field too. I come from over Portmore. Not really, no. Um, I don't know. Like, listening to, to Liz the other day when she did her podcast, yeah. Liz and Dwight. I realized that I had a whole different experience. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if it was because I read so much as a child, like in primary school, because I used to read a lot. Yeah. So I had exposure through reading. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't surprised that much, and I felt very comfortable in whatever situation I was in. Never felt like anyone was better than or less than. Never ever felt like that. I never come in the school thinking that we're there. Oh no, and and coming from my school, Trenchtown Primary, mm-hmm. I think that's a little odd. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm asking. Coming I mean, where you come from, it's like you come from a similar background, but right. just say you have that, that like Chernell, but it's just say you come from a town school instead of a country lake, a country school like. Right. She feel, because anywhere past six miles, people live at town, can see the country. That's 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 true. Past, you know, past, you know, past, um, sorry. <laughs> Repeat that. No, no. Anyway, past ferry, a country. Exactly, exactly, right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, past ferry, I'm at, I, I told my little that I said, yeah, a country people them there. So yeah. So you didn't get that way come here, book you have an accent like people are considered a country girl. No, you know, I didn't, I don't know. Come to think of it, they didn't say anything to me. And I tell a very few talk to you. So after a while, you, you just fall into place. So you never felt like you had an accent, or like you know, say, you come from. Because you're right, no. town people talk different than people, pastor, yeah. for true, yes. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't observe that. 
You know, except for the one of one of them icy tighty and bitter and people. <laughs> No, oh, I didn't feel that. Yeah, yeah. See, so, you, you know when you had a, you know, you say a came to Meadowbrook, you have a brother or sister come to Meadowbrook afterwards? No. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just, you want to get the Anna for pass and come to Meadowbrook. Yeah. Like, my sister that follows me, she went to St. Catherine High School. Mm-hmm. My other two sisters that follow me, they went to um technical school. So, you know, they didn't come to, nobody didn't come to that side at all. I say I mean, say it must have been an honor. I just say I mean, I just say I mean, sure enough. I say exactly mm-hmm. I mean. I come, you, you come from a, I, a background where you go to a high school, even though I mean, I would, well, by the time I mean, I was a big top school in a sense, because I wouldn't a trophy and all them things there. Yeah, man in cup and all that stuff and cricket. Cricket well, yeah, and right, man in cup, you right. were doing good. Right, so tell mm-hmm. me about that. Were you a sports fan that you have followed them sports there? Eh? No, you know. You know, as I said to you before, Lance, even if I wanted to, I could not have done it because mommy, I was the eldest, eldest child and the eldest girl in, 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 my, in my family. Yeah. I had to come home and do stuff. I can't be just hanging around. I might hang out, my hanging out days, like really like leaving school and hanging out after school hours or like more like fourth form, fifth form. But before that, you better find myself home because she had time me <laughs> and me no one the bus miss me. I mean, I want to come at a certain time, I'm in a trouble, so I mean, I really don't know that. Well, you say your mother wanted a mother that wait at the bus stop for you and come home? Of course. I hear you. Said, come help, maybe help, help, help the whole world, come help cook and all and stuff. Yes, dear. It's yeah. not an if or maybe it's a must. <laughs> must be there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, apart from the one, and, and I don't think, yeah, you said it was an embarrassing moment to go for the girl house. Is there another embarrassing moment you remember at Meadowbrook where you look, look back on with a smile? Yes, I remember this very frankly because I even talked to the, the person that day. There was a guy in school, apart from the, the dance floor one, that was different. There's another one I approached, I really go and say, You know, like you want to be my boyfriend again. I said, What? Hell no. <laughs> you are not my type. Oh my God. I the boy in the first me, No, you're not my type. I was livid. Yeah. Yes, I was. But you know what? I constantly an example. I say, you know what, Shirley, keep yourself to yourself. You don't need this. Because I really have been good. And I was in, I was in fourth form, actually. Uh, and I decided to tell this boy that I like him. And you approached him. And him, him both. Yes, I did approach him. Straight up. And in both years, we used to send them days there. Eh? Oh my God, that's a big, that's a big, that bigger than both. That, that bad. <laughs> <laughs> that bigger than both. <laughs> But Chernel, you're a brave, bad man. I was a brave person. Come again? I was a brave person. I thought me ask if you just go up to man and tell him say you like them. Which woman, did, which, which other woman you know do that? I don't trust that. I talk my mind. I, I, I can't hold stuff on. I keep always saying what's on my mind. Can you hear me? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I can't see that. I can't hear you. No, I can't see it. Because if you do that, as, as, as Margaret said, you're brave for that. A very few other women do not got to do that. Talk Especially to me back I in those I, days. I don't, I don't remember. I don't know if you remember that I said that to him, but I still talk to him. He's up, um, let's say we're not friends like that, but we still talk like, a, how you do? Go on, everything all right. He, he, he has come to many of the functions. I've seen him over and over and all that stuff, but I don't remember the memories. I don't even want to bring you thought back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where is it? You give me a remember? I'm going to give me a remember. It's, I don't know. I don't know if you remember. I don't know if you remember, but, but I. You, you just leave it alone. You do the right thing. I, I agree with you. You just yes. say, you know, I'm not go back to the same. I get, I get both one time already, so I don't need to forget no more both at all. So, yeah. Exactly. Exactly so. <laughs> <laughs> but you're brave, though. I hear you. But you're not so brave, you know, at this time. I said, no, no, no more both for you at all. Left that alone. But that's good. That, that's, that's, you know what, Chanel? That's it's not only say you're brave, you know, it's very in terms of say you can't talk about it and you see him. I know have him yeah. up. You know, feel no way just to say you talk to him and left it alone. That is I must say You know, say, in life in life you, you you have to have ups and downs and you get mature, you, you know. You know, you find yourself, you find youroself. Because I found myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, man, I understand. That is trust me, that's commendable how you you deal with that, man. Because a lot of people get before them go high school and them not forget it and it's like them care to them for years. Years. Mm, nah. and, and trust me, you know, more boys get both more than girls, you know. Cause enough boys I go up to girl and, and I pair both them I get to you know. 
Una woman so not gonna know that, but why you do why the man have to do that every week or every month and get buff every time? So yeah, yeah, so that was that that's commendable you look on it and delete it though, sure enough. I love that. I like that, I like that, I like that. So you tell me about the the song the way you love on Meadowbrook. Um the song. You have any other song? Any reggae song you remember when you go to Meadowbrook? Um reggae song. Or um, Jamaican song, reggae or dance hall song, whichever way you put it. Buja Bantan song, Brown I think. Which one a Buja song? Brown. Who? You're breaking up Shana. Huh? You are broke up. Go ahead now. Go ahead now. We are better now. I yeah, I'm I'm in the hallway. I'm so sorry about that. Can you hear me? Yeah ma, which one a Buja song you love? I think it's the brown. I think it's the brownie. Ah, the brownie song when get in a trouble for a year, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Would you put some foot in my mouth? That one, I remember that. <laughs> uh-huh. I remember say when of Jamaican man think at exactly right, but him afterwards him come back with him the subscribe black for a black woman. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh-huh. But the brownie one, I was a hit. I remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I heard an interview with him um a couple of years ago where he said that he didn't want to do the song. What the Browning song? Really? Yeah. He really? said that oh, when wow. he heard it, instinctively he didn't want to do it. And his um producer his manager that. said to him, say, No man, you have to do the song. This is going this is going to be a hit. And he said that's why I'm come back so quick with the, the black man. Black woman song. Yeah, because he was not comfortable with that brown song at all. I know knowing Bujo I kinda believe him, you know. So he, he actually he wouldn't instinctively want that song. Like, I know him know what the song I say, you no. Know. It was such a even though the reality must say in person never wants to do it. I mean understand. Right. Don't know Bujo say I know Bujo, Bujo culture then I don't think I kinda believe him. Some of them wouldn't believe, but him made a believe. He made a belief there. Yes. I, I, when say him actually I believe him never wanted the song at all. But yeah, that was that was one of those songs. I will live forever in a Jamaican niche. <laughs> yeah man, and you know it's one of the most successful songs too, you know. Yeah, and yeah. Mm-hmm. Put him on the map. <laughs> yeah, the song there? Yeah man, I put him on the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a Jam- yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, man, I love my car, I love my thing, but most of all I love my browning. Yes. Yeah, but you see, you see, that's it. It's that's just that's a Jamaican thing, you know. That's, uh, unfortunately, the culture just so it stay. Uh, okay, I'm not bored at all. That's just reality. That's not just that's reality. All right, all right, Shernel. Let me move on to some more questions. What the best learning experience you get going to Meadow, to Meadowbrook? The best what? Learning experience. Your best learning experience. Hmm. Uh, typing. I learned how to how to type on a typewriter. Mm-hmm. And it's in the, it's, and and the thing about in a typing class, you have to be astute, be back up straight, hands off the table, fingers like this, and oh my god, it was stressful at one time. Just so stressful. Got to be a lady. You got to be the secretary. You got to be positioning. But you know, it was it was something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I did well too. I I, I didn't see it in that past and all that stuff, but it wasn't for me. A lot of mercy. <laughs> from me. But you know, when you're at school, you have to do business, you have to do typing, you have to do typing, shorthand, accounts, POB, prefer, um, um, POB um, accounts, all that stuff was in, in the package. Yeah, that that, that's a part of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let me ask you what life lesson you learn at Meadowbrook? You pass on to your friends and family? Um, be who you are. Just be who you are, because if you try to be like other people, it's not gonna work. Because I went to that school and thought that oh, all the rich people are, is here, and you know I feel all the place, and I be myself, and I was accepted, and I had loads of friends, and it was a wonderful time. Mhm, mhm. Now say be who you are exactly what I mean. Expand upon that a bit. What do you mean by that? I mean that if you. Because I was poor. If you're poor you're there, don't try to be rich like, like, like Oh I got you, I got you. Nobody come and pretend like say have it when you know saying have it. I say me. And that's Yeah, repeat that journal, can you break up? Yeah, yeah, break up. 
No, now you're not not all, Chanel. Okay, hold on. Yeah, you, you, you have my Bluetooth again? Oh, I'm in the room, Frank. Oh. Hold on. You gone again? Ah, uh, no. Can you, can you hear me now? Much better, much better, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was in the back room. I was in the back room, sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was saying that... I have experienced that because trying to be in somebody else's circle just to fit in, that didn't work out at all. Oh, you tried that? I never work. Yeah, you with a girl and she tried to expose and stuff. And oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. Got you. And all that stuff. No, sir. And that kind of shock, yeah, I said, you know, you don't want to be part of that circle at all. I got you. Right. I got you. So I, I just I just accept that this, I'm a poor person and this is who I am right now. Find my people, find myself, and just... Go on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? So, Margaret, you had, you had an experience like that? Any at all? No, but I seem to have lived in a bubble at Meadowbrook because a couple of years ago, I was a part of a WhatsApp group. Yeah. And I heard all kinds of stories that made my hair stand up. <laughs> that happened at school. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, not necessarily mm -hmm. at school, but like some of them left school and went to different people's homes and stuff and I never know that I go on at all. No, so I didn't live in a one nice little bubble. Yeah well I see yeah. I see I'll one a man me name not exactly at that. <laughs> Something they you're going after I say really <laughs> yes yep. yeah 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 so Chernel it's not a money thing you know I, I never mean I go say me come from the background me come from a, a more like a mega working class because me still have a perma call. But the, okay. ex, the exposure we are talking about we never exposed anything that we had to talk about, so it's not necessarily. I, don't, I suppose this has been by the click. I mean, just like what Margaret has said, when you hear something afterwards, you say, Really? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, right. You never know them things that used to go on. But I shouldn't be shocked at all because, anyway, male and female mix together, anything possible. So mm. that's a possibility. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah. But it's not like it happened at school. She came to our house and like a whole different thing. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Yeah, but that, Chanel, that's the same thing. That's the same exact thing because the people who are talking is the same thing where they went to somebody's house and this happened and they were exposed to this and that kind of stuff. And I was like, okay. Yeah. And these are people that I was friends with. And, and I said, one of the times I said to them, so how come all these things happen? And I was not aware of it. You know what I was told? Uh-huh. You are a nerd. Nobody never invite you at them something. <laughs> <laughs> you always have to say in a bubble, sure, Margaret, in a bubble, you know, nobody them that, that, that move there at all. Yes. yes. No, they them not invite me in at them something there at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know you are there. I know. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so, Chanel, what are the. For, no, let me ask you this question. Let me ask you a question. What message do you get to existing students? Our future students, our staff members, welcome, Meadowbrook. I listen to this podcast. What message do you have for them? Because you come from a unique background in my mind, and you come from Meadowbrook. You are the first. Well, my message is no matter, no matter where you come from, no matter who, no matter where you come from, there is nothing or nowhere you can go. The sky's the limit. Yeah. Because you could go to Meadowbrook, you could go to Queens, you could go to St. Catherine. It's about what you want to achieve. Yeah. My goal was to make myself somebody, make an impression on my family, make them, make, make them know that I deserve to go to this school and I make sure that I make them proud. Mm -hmm. The last day, I work hard. I work hard. You see? Yeah, and you, you, it, 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 the people who have money, and people who don't have money, the one who don't have money, sometimes achieve bigger goals. It's not about the money; it's not about where you go to school. But yeah. I love Meadowbrook because it, 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 it was, as I said, a mixed culture of every different things happening there. Mm -hmm. But I went there for a purpose, and I worked towards my purpose. Mm -hmm. But, but you said that a couple of times. You said love Meadowbrook. Even at the beginning when you started, say love Meadowbrook. 
And why you end up a love Meadowbrook so much? What what was the reason why you think you love Meadowbrook? When I when I started my school when I when I was in like third form, I think it was third form, yeah, third form or fourth form, when my teachers were just like, you know, I I, I as I said, I got seasoned. Everybody know me now, I can talk to people, my teachers were there for me, and then my friends were there for me, and I didn't feel like I was upset anymore. Not at all. A lot of things I was not um, able to do because of my lifestyle at home and all that stuff. But nonetheless, my friends are still open to me. I tell them to eat out of my plate, all that stuff. And you, you, don't, you don't expect that from people who you don't know how it's like. like Ooh, what's eating? Trap and beans? And they use them oxtail or they use them, them fish and all that stuff that you don't really have, you know? Yeah. You don't have that because, you know, it's just basic food to eat when you, where, where I come from. Basic food is like chicken. Our beef. Yeah, yeah. Probably some pork more there, you understand? Yeah. Fish is like not on the palate. But when I when my mother used to make the trap on bean and come over, I used to hide how did I eat it. Hi, because can nobody know my eat. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah. Until so my friend comes here even said, let me see it. And she let me taste it. And the taste and I said, I like it and I want more. And, and, and you know, I I got that wonderful thing that, oh my God. You know, it's not so bad. You know, it's not so bad. Yeah, kind of eat your food, where things say, then I look down pan. Yes, exactly. Cause people go, I don't I don't up to my up my third form at school, I don't go to the cafeteria to buy lunch. I had to get packed lunch. And if I go to the cafeteria just to go for going sick, the only thing I might buy is a King Kong and a patty. <laughs> Me can't buy box lunch. Can't and, afford it. And King Kong or the box rolls or a box rolls? No, it's, it's a box it's a big like Kisco, but a bigger part of the Kisco. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Man. They call it King Kong. I try to remember which one I King Kong. I big kiss go back them. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. I never remember that. So you know, it it was a struggle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. When, I, when I left, when I left, when I left, when I left, when I left from I walked down that I proud. Yeah. My I went to my I I I, I met different people from first from the fifth farm. Some of them stayed me all the way to the fifth farm. We we never never they never apart from each other like they you know you know, drift away and then like that. We had that clique. You had that sense of community. Yeah. All of us hung out together. You know? Yeah, then yeah. Then I had, I also get to know my, my cousin's friends because she was there when I leave school and she and her friend would walk. We walked from, you so I used to walk, you know, I used to walk from Meadowbrook all the way to Reddy's Road. Yeah, for the bus. Run up on the way there and buy French fries. Yeah. And walk and go, and go home. You understand? And I know my friends, them, my cousin friends and hang out with them all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. So I've yeah. been, my, I've been my, I, I, well, I've been my own community of friends, of all, of all types of friends. Mm-hmm. Good, and, good and the bad. Yeah, yeah. The good and the bad. Yeah, no, that, that's, that, yeah, that, and, and that's a life, you know. I said, book prepare you for that in a life because a life yeah. where you come in and you have, you have people you respect and then some people you just have to, yeah, and you get all of that at Meadowbrook. You get all of that at Meadowbrook. And then you get protection because this, the administration are some bigger people not allow nobody to take advantage of people at all. Like never happened in Meadowbrook. And, that, and that's why when I, went, when I went back to work with them, I was welcome. Everybody was, oh, sure, they are here. I'm like, oh, they remember me. Who? Oh, that's good, you know? That's like the staff. And the... Yes. I go back there. When I go back there, Mr. Good was still there. Mr. Jackson was still there. Mr. What the man again that teach um mass short man the short man. Some Mr. Mr. <laughs> was there. Yeah. And um Miss Gillis was still there. Was a teacher again and not funny was still there and they're like, Oh my god, look at you. I'm like, oh, they remember me, you know. They remember you. Know, you. Yeah. So that, did, that felt good. That felt really good. That that's only like it's a surprise you're sure that they remember you. Of course, because you know, I'm 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 small matters. You know, and there's a whole body of how much, how much students in school. Yeah. It doesn't like that, like, oh, they really remember me. You know, it, it really felt good. Well, I hope you realize that you weren't small matters, even though you're small in a size. But yeah, then remember your man. That's Meadowbrook, man. That is Meadowbrook for you. You might think so, they may remember you, yeah. Listen, and you know what? That I didn't know, that probably you haven't noticed either. I have, it's like a bit of a speech impediment. I tend to talk very fast. And when I was going to school, they call me typewriter. <laughs> Um, Speedy Gonzalez, uh, what's the other one? Three of them, typewriter, Speedy Gonzalez, computer. It's all those, all those things are fast. I'm like, mm, whatever. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. All of the talks are fast, that's true. I just I know this, as you mentioned, I just... Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Margaret, dear, she's going to that school to see me about whatever with me. Whatever. <laughs> Well, you, no, but sure, in the last year, if you never point out to me, I would recognize it. But can you point it out? Yeah, I try to talk slow sometimes. I know what I, my problem is and my fault is. And for communication purpose, I have practiced now and then to, you know, slow it, down. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it can be very inconvenient to other people trying to listen to you when you're talking fast. And I get that. I get that they don't want me, it don't offend me. I get it too, because it's fact. I have taped myself and listened to myself and thought, whoa, was I going that fast? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, for, for the record, I never sound like you go fast tonight. I don't worry about that. It didn't sound no way to me at all. Don't worry about that at all. Do not. Do not. Like, in progress, it's getting better. That's good. That's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So why you decide to go back to work on Middle Road? A job became what, what, what motivated you to go back to work at Meadowbrook? When I left school, when I left school, I didn't go to sixth form. Yeah. I didn't go to sixth form. So I went back and I went back to, um, I went to extra mural. That's you, you know, you know, you, 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 extra mural, there's an extra class that you have on UE. And I did that. It was hard to get a job. And, and then I saw the ad about birth assistant in, in there. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you guys noticed later what the Mrs. Medley was there. I went and talked to her about it, and she said, okay, apply. And I was surprised. And I got the job. I was like, oh, cool. I yeah. like it here. It, it, it felt like coming back to where I started back from. Yeah, 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 yeah. And how long were you there? Two years. Two years, okay, good, 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 good. I felt like yeah. you went home for two years then. Yes. Mr. Crawford, Mr. Crawford was a, was a, was a principal at the end. And then Mrs. Stroh was still a, um, the, she remembered me too. Mrs. Stroh was still a guidance counselor there when I, when I went back. You remember Mrs. Stewart? Yeah, ma, yeah, yeah, yeah. I told Dark Lady, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah she was the garden counselor there, and the birth was the Mr. Mr. Crawford there. Then Miss Melly was the assistant. And I went back. It was good. And then, and then these teachers think like, oh, now no longer student, I can act like the person. Like, I'm still a younger than you guys. I'm still a student. Even I'm coming near to work, I'm still a student. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like that. I like you could have go back and fit in and work on, and that work out good for you. Yeah. Yep. So how 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 many book changed a little short time there? Because you left in the eighties, eighty said. I yes. went back in ninety two. What what changed in the, the the short time you worked there? What you think? Nothing, nothing changed when I got back there. Nothing changed. It was okay. the same thing I left when I got back there. They were still struggling and all that stuff. You know, and this is why when I become a part of alumni, I was very much intrigued to to make things happen. I, I work hard. I make sure I never, I, I, um, what's the word? Um, what's the word? Well, like, I try to make sure that everything we try, every target we could go at, I work hard with it. I make sure I, I try and get sponsors. I try and get this because I really wanted to make a difference for yeah. my school. Well, tell, I remember school. Yeah. No, tell me more about that. And what made motivated you to get involved? In, how did that go about? Well, you know what? That was, that was like something that is, accidentally fall in my lap because you know i was here in i was in jamaica do my thing live my life not even knowing there was association happening because that's the thing i didn't even know there was an association going on in nowhere at all of my book so when i happened to marry a men a better book guy you got margaret know about it he's coming because i married him and i came up to the united states and he was part of the alumni so i used to go meeting with him until i become a part of the um part of the body uh, and become part of the um alumni as well yeah 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 not, I'm not, I'm not, I, I was a part of the alumni I become a member then I become a part of the board as well and mm-hmm. got myself involved you know and try to get my friends I try to you know link up all my friends that I know that was um in my ear and tell them you know about what we're, what we're doing and all that stuff it felt good it yeah. felt good we give you back. know Boy, I mm-hmm. just, just slip that in sign of a time to say married to a medical guy. You're still married to him? thought you knew that. No. That, oh, okay. you, keep a, you keep a secret from me. Are you still married to him? I don't want to talk about it. No, we are, we are divorced. It's fine. We're divorced. We move on. We are no. divorced. <laughs> no, no. Because, no, it's not, it's not for fast in our business. Sure no, it's fine. No, no. I, I know. I'm grown. 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 I
phone. I'm good. No, 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 no I'm interested. No, no. Let me tell you, I can't take my ask a question. A lot of Melbourne people married to each other, I know. Okay. Yes, I know that too. A lot of Melbourne people married to each other. And it's, it's in that context more ask about it in terms of say, not whether they're married or divorced. And if you're comfortable and talk about it, you can. If you don't, that's fine too. I'm not interested in that at all. I just, it's a Melbourne connection I'm interested in. I say, why is okay. that? Why is that the case? Because my brother, I've been say married to somebody from Melbourne, which is Safran sister. My right. sister, sister was married to a guy from Melbourne. My sister went to Melbourne in the 60s. They are divorced now. They divorced a long time in the 80s. Mm-hmm. So, so it's not the divorce I'm interested in. It's just me I say, what do you think caused the Melbourne connection? Because eh? it's still happening. You know? Well, you know what? That was a thing because I, um, one of my friends that I, I, I huh? Margaret? Margaret? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, I want okay. your, your comment on this, Margaret, but finish up, Sharonel. Yeah, so um, when I left high school, I tell you, when I, it's one of my girlfriends from my, from my book. Um, she lives in the community, but I live in Spanish town as well. I didn't even know that she's going to make a book. And then we found each other. And the last year, I found her and she found me at the bus stop. And I'm like, oh, we live around here. You know, I'm like, wow, somebody else in this area goes to make book. And we, um, we connect. And we we worked together, and after we left school, you know, she came to she came to the states. Yeah. And. But then one day she's like, you know, one of my friends he's like, he was a me that he wants a, a girl, you know, he's trying to find a nice girl from us, and and she introduced me to them to him. Okay. And got okay. married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, I didn't know when I was going to school. I didn't know my child. I told her I don't talk to no boy. One boy may talk to, you know, one boy may actually talk. To. I didn't know anybody in school, like like know him in school, like who he was and all that stuff. Nothing of the sort. He didn't know I exist. I didn't know he exists. No, that's a common thing too. You meet afterwards and you realize that one used to come here. That's a quite common thing though. That, that's mm-hmm. in a sense that's I'm kind of curious about that. To say why why you think that happened in terms of say. I suppose just moving in the same circles are, you know, but yeah, I understand what I mean. I do understand what I mean. Margaret, do you have any tech on that in terms of why I think some of the medical people will get being, I didn't want to use the word, get married or just living together or just become a couple and use the right term? The couples, yes. Um, <clears throat> exactly what you just said. Just being in the same circle, in the same community. Because if you notice, people tend to get married to people that they're familiar with. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, so I think it's just the... Yeah, 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 yeah. The proximity. Yeah, a part of human nature. You're going to know the people when mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, I so. agree. Yeah, it's not... I yeah. I mean, it's good because you, know, you, you feel safer that way. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. Come in the book, yeah. Come in the book, I have a certain reputation, like I say, can it's like it coming a certain brand, you can't trust the name and say, I'm hey, used to come Melbourne, even if you never knew him from trust. before. You can trust, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the word. And when you, when, you, when, you, when you get married or I say, become a couple with somebody, that's the key part. It's like, you know, if it's going to work or not, but it starts out to trust in the person because they, they come from a trusting yes. environment, which was a matter because of both. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. It's a common thing, though. It's a very, very. I have a cousin who. Yeah, I think I'm better with music to go to. I'm not so sure. As I say, it is it's a well-known thing in a throat, in a my family. It's, a, it's not like a something I don't know about Chernel. It's, it's something, but I just didn't okay. know. I didn't know that you had married a guy. I didn't know. I okay. didn't, I didn't yeah. know at all. I didn't know at all. All right, let me ask you a last couple of questions here because this was nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice to conversation here, you know. Um, last couple of questions before. Well, one more question. Is there any topic or anything where I like comment about where you think we could have asked women never bring up at all? I think you covered it good. I know. I mean, the fact that we talk about sports. Yeah, we did it. We did a good job. Mm-hmm. Good. It, of course. Yeah. I, had... I, 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 I can't think of anything that we haven't talking, spoken about. I mean, except for, except for the the phenomenal Dr. McLennan. Oh, no. Well, a- a- great, great, great. A.K.A. Spanner. Spanner. 
No, talk about her then. Talk about her. That's why I bring up that. Talk about Miss McLean and, and our spanner, as I say. What was your impression well, of spanner? And I didn't even tell oh you. Oh, my God. She was very, very much. I feel she was very, very stern. Oh, my God. One day, one day, oh my, I can't forget that. One day, um, Miss, Miss Lieber didn't come to class. Or she, she probably to call her, I was sick, whatever, she, I just couldn't come to class. So, Spanner decided to come and teach Spanish class. Lord Jesus, we did know. She came to the door, and of course, you know, when you see Spanner coming, everybody starts shaking and running, because you know, say, it's not, and she, she's not doing anything good. Come for bad. I mean, that she come to make sure she's a cleaner or something. So we wonder, what's going on? What's watching the classroom? Because we didn't know that this liver called out or wasn't coming to the class. So everybody wondering, what is the problem? She comes to the class and say, okay, students, your Spanish teacher is not here today. I'm going to be a teacher. And after I speaking, there will be no more English in this class, just Spanish. And like, Papa Jesus, me dead, no. Me dead, me dead, me dead. <laughs> I mean, I like Spanish, but I like the teacher. I didn't do nothing. I don't learn nothing. I don't learn nothing except me llama Chanel, me casa, bonito, and the colors, and the numbers. That's how I remember. So, you know more than me, place. but go ahead, yeah. When she turned around and turned her back to go, right on the, on the, on the blackboard, me go, me screech and go to the back seat. Me no one for no time to call for me. It was the longest, longest class I ever had in all my Mm-hmm. The longest class because I was terrified. Mm-hmm. I was terrified. Mm-hmm. But Miss Miss McKenna, she was a very nice person. I love her. Mm-hmm. But she she been telling all of us. We didn't hear Spanner come. Everybody, I run. So, what what year did she leave? You remember what year she left Meadowbrook? You were there at the time she left. I, no, I, I already left school. Oh really? I got it. I got it. Still there, yeah. When I finished, she was still there. I'm sure about it. Yeah, Mrs. Morris came after. Dr. Morris came after. She was my friend before. Dr. Morris, I miss good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else you need? You know, I hear Miss McLean leave Margaret. No, you know, but one of your upcoming guests, I'm sure, will be able to tell them. Definitely come. I mean, you know, when Pekka leave, you know, based on the podcast last week, whenever I know that. When he leave? Yeah, Pekka Pekka left in two thousand and two. Pekka, a teacher who teach. Eh? You left the premises at that time. Yeah, Pekka was kind of getting getting on in years, and the school was changing up. The podcast last oh. week with Miss Dean and Miss um a teacher who currently teach at Millerbrook, Miss Miss Johnson, Hyacin Johnson. She a teacher from two thousand and one. She went there and saw Pekka. So if you if you listen to the podcast, the one from last week. Okay. She, she going nice. She, she did talk about Pekka. I, she gave me information. And you, you, you listen, Margaret? Yeah. Yeah, she did give me information about Pekka. I didn't know what that. But I went and asked. I wonder about Miss McLennan because I'm curious to know. As a matter of yeah, fact. So they, yeah, go ahead, Chernel. There were people there were people in that school that you can't forget. is Dr. Um, Spana, Pekka, and Manius. Yeah, she talked. Mm-hmm. Those three she talk, stand she, out in the book. They have read a book. They have read a book. Legend, Meadowbrook Legends. Meadowbrook yes. Icons, even better, 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 sure, and a better yes. word than my one. Yes, 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 yes. She did talk about, she did talk about Manius, though. Miss Johnson, because she went there and saw them, and she spoke about him, though. She did talk about him, too. So, when you get a chance to listen to podcasts, because she did talk about him, because it, I know Manius from my Agro school, <laughs> with the motor okay. and all them things, so. I know Pekka, and I know Spanner, all three. I just. So that was a good, that's a good history lesson I got from her. Because she went there and saw him. And a little after Manus retired, them, them gave him an award to and Pekka. Basically, like a retirement to him, him leave. And, you know, so. But Pekka did it from, as far as me, like Pekka was there from in the early 70s, the late 60s. Look at that. Look at that. Somebody, that's how long it's been there. Oh, my God. <laughs> almost 40 years that, based on numbers, I don't know 40. Yeah, uh, 30 to 40 years, not man. Remember that, man. I remember that. Miss McLean and, and Miss McLean was there for my sister go school in the 60s. Uh-uh. 
That's what, I, that's how long. I don't know if she was a founding staff member, but she was there. And I think my sister started with her book in 1966, if my memory serves me right. You know, okay. so. I don't. I, I, them, their history you now, that took come up as I said, Margaret. I go in. It was a question I have to put in the back of my mind. I said, I need to find out. Just say, I ask to get. Yeah. To get a reaction. To get a reaction from them. I would pick a. I need to know when pick a came. I know when him leave and I'm Manius. But Manius was well known to. Well known to Chernel. I remember him good, good too. I remember him good, good. Mm-hmm. So, Margaret, before I ask um, Chernel the last question, the same last question I ask everybody. Is there anything or any topic where you think me leave off where you want we could have bring up? Because Sharon remember Miss McLean, which was good, and she talked about fair experience with McLean. Is there anything you think I left off or we could have talked about? No, I think you covered everything. Yeah. Good, 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 good. So, Sharon, the last question I asked everybody who comes on this podcast, you know, they have the first one and the last one. You know, where I get them two questions, there was. <laughs> In your mind, what made Melorock magical? <laughs> My mind, my friends, my golden friends, stick by each other. Mm-hmm. That's what makes it magical. And and it, and even the fact that after we leave school, it's in touch. And even now, as a community with the, with the alumni stuff like that, it's it's oh my god! When we get together, we're like bees. We just flutter and just all around each other and just so united. I don't know if you've been to any of our function, but when you come to the function, when you talk about teeth and laugh and foolishness, <laughs> oh my gosh, you, you, we just crazy. We we've been to like alumni meetings or we have a fete or something and fete over. We come out, let them we have a hall and the, the, the hall close kind of time. We come out and we chat out, chat out, chat out. Like when I go yard, we can't have enough of each other. Mm-hmm. You know that really warms my heart. Yeah. Just a unity. The togetherness. Yeah, you know, that, it's a really a good feeling. Yeah, I, you never expect that when you come to Meadowbrook how much years ago? No. Like, no. Almost, almost 40 no. years ago, I came to Meadowbrook in 1983. You realize that 40 years, you come to Uptown School. But I'm going to put it. But I'm going to put it. I'm old. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. I knew she'd get you. What she say? No bother with the foolishness. If I try, I try my car sound old. Yo, what's your name? Sure, are you there? I'm here. You don't know, man. Me. Hold on, hold on. You don't know something older than you. You think me a young foot? I'll be 60. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? You I know, it's not a matter right now. No, exactly. Exactly. I never mentioned what I said. We did a long time. Never been to because you know, I not think he had... Oh, 40 years. Hello, sir. Not, no, hold well, on. 40 years. 40 years. I'm not think he had. Sorry. But I hear what I say. <laughs> I don't think he had that time. I still t- think that I'm in the book. And just like you put it, we still... All right, when we meet up with one another, like, we're going back in the year, see, like, whenever I leave the book, man. Oh my gosh, like a playful, a yeah, playful yeah, exactly, exactly. So that's what I'm talking about. Even though years ago, we just like, we never leave at all. It's like, as I say, all the while, Panting Meadowbrook is like the Hotel California, you can check out anytime, but you don't really leave. You never really leave Meadowbrook, you know. The feeling all is there, they say, you, you never leave at all. It's like, as you say, we, it's like, at the fact, we, we are talking about the meetup afterwards, Chernel. I said, you see what happened at school, you know, you just don't want to go home. Mm-hmm. School over here, just some want to go. I just love the school. I said, the fit them feel to you, see me. So, I know where I talk. I know exactly where I talk. I know exactly where I talk. And age is not a age thing. I don't, I don't buy the age thing at all. I buy years, experience. Yes. <laughs> I don't talk. Life is an experience. Yeah, go ahead. So life is an experience. Yeah, man, right. So, what, yeah. what 40 years, what would you buy experience, man? Because 40 years since the left school and a year drop. We have the experience and that counter will leap, you know? That counter yeah. will leap. That counter will leap. And counter will leap. Anyway, Chernel, mm-hmm. this was good. I love this. This was a nice, like, entertaining discussion we have tonight uh, from a different perspective from somebody who come from, as I say, past ferry. 
and love Meadowbrook. Come on, Meadowbrook. I never know. Say, she picked Meadowbrook because she loved Meadowbrook. And I love that. You come and give her perspective. We had the near upon this podcast before. And, and you come and you just. I like it. Because you just thank straight you up. Eh? Hey, thank you and thank you for having me. Yeah, man. No problem. No problem. No problem. I'm glad you came. I'm glad Marvel set up this to me. And then you come on and come give, and come give your memory and your history and all them things. So. I am happy that you came, man. Okay, now. This will come out in another couple of weeks. Come have a couple of podcasts. That maybe about four or five weeks. I have a couple of podcasts I had this to so come out. So anyway, so Margaret, as usual, thank you for helping me come do the hosting. And thank you for getting the ladies them for come on. Like Shernel, come on. And I never know say Shernel would be interested to come talk to me. And if there any other female are listening, them realize they will talk about Talk for almost an hour and a half, two hours, I want to talk about no sport at all. So I just the memories. Right. And you're welcome, sir. I just the memories, Chernel. It's not about say it start out by being a sports thing because we love our sports. Oh, okay. The man who got to play cricket and football in that time. Love and I love to talk about it. Love to talk about it. They will talk about it for hours. Like myself, yeah. But the girls in my mother book play an important role. Very important role. So Margaret, uh, we're going to go to person to make sure we get a whole heap of girls to come on and come talk. And I'm glad to say, you come on, Shernet, Shernel, sorry, and come give your memories. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Please. Yeah, man. So, thank you, no? And to one have a good night. And um, God bless you all. All right. Good night. Same to you. Margaret, I'm alone. Hey, That's love you too, okay. darling. Take care. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Nice. Thanks for listening to Meadowbrook Memories. And remember to give us all the support and encouragement you can on whatever social media platform you are listening. And special thanks to my production manager, Kyle Prince, who takes care of everything involved in getting the podcast out every week. And without him, this podcast would not be possible. It is his expertise that allows me to do what I love doing every week, having great conversations about Meadowbrook memories, and he's responsible for everything else. So again, thanks to my production manager, Kyle Prince.